So you've been having heart to heart with ChatGPT about everything from career moves to creative projects. Let's pour some tea and talk about what you actually agreed to when you clicked past that privacy policy faster than you skip a YouTube ad. Because while you were getting its help writing a breakup text, OpenAI was taking notes. And trust me, they are not keeping your secrets. By default, every single thing you type into ChatGPT, every prompt, every conversation, every midnight existential crisis, gets stored indefinitely unless you actively delete it. Even temporary chats are kept for 30 days for safety monitoring. That's in the policy, not a rumor. And it's not just your words. OpenAI collects metadata too. When you use it, how often, what device you are on, your entire interaction pattern. They're building a profile of not just what you ask, but how you use their service. OpenAI doesn't sell you data, but they can review conversations for safety, share data with service providers, and respond to legal requests and subpoenas. Your chats are encrypted, but that protects you from outside hackers, not from OpenAI itself, not from their employees, and definitely not from a legal request. There's also a massive gap in protection. Enterprise customers get strong data protection, but for a regular user, you get standard terms that favor OpenAI, not you. So how do you protect yourself? You can opt out of having your data used for model training. Go to your settings, find chat history and training, and turn it off. But here's the thing. It was on by default. Maximum data collection is the default, not maximum privacy. What's the lesson? ChatGPT is an incredible tool, but it's not vault for your secrets. It's not your therapist, it's not your lawyer, and it's definitely not your diary. Every conversation exists in a legal gray area where your privacy is protected by corporate policy, not ironclad rights. I'll keep using AI, but I'll never forget. What I tell the bot might not stay with the bot. Trust the technology, but read the fine print. In this digital age, privacy isn't that. It's just in the terms and conditions nobody reads.